All right, running power tool. This deck still has value. I'm telling you, people, it still has value even in this format. So got the duality. Okay, so he's running gem knights. All right, here's a look at my extra. Well, I'm gonna try to show you my extra deck real fast. This is a deck that I was running on 5Ds before uh, I stopped running it. And uh, considering all the new cards now they got on here, uh, my power tool deck is actually a little bit better than what it used to be, say, two years ago. So uh, yeah. So top deck, Black Salvo. So I'm running three power tool dragons, two power tool mecha dragons, one gear giant. Uh, it's actually two of them and emerald and you know the rest duality go and draw into locomotive because locomotive is going to actually draw me another card if he destroys locomotive then I'll use black salvo to bring him back to the XYZ summon black salvo is the key card to this deck if you do not draw a black salvo, you will not win this duel. You will not win uh, with this deck, actually, because if black salvo is not in your hand and not summoned, you will lose. So getting getting him to your hand is important. So that's why I have multiple ways of doing that. All right, flip him over, draw a card, and I just top red geki, which is excellent, because now I'm gonna blow up that side of the field. Salvo into power tool. So I got Gear Giant, I got uh, uh, Gen X Neutron, which can search Power Tool, not Power Tool, it can search Black Salvo. So I, I I have many ways of getting Black Salvo to my hand, and getting a Dark Monster to the graveyard is not hard at all. I could probably one turn one turn kill him here, but I don't think I, I no, I don't think I can. If I had drew another Mage Power out of that. If he had picked Mage Power, I probably would have. This is not gonna. This is not gonna OTK him. Unite with Stand, Mage Power, Double Tool. Yeah, and even if I add, that's not gonna do it. But it was close enough. It was close enough. I mean, of course, I probably could add Reckless and probably draw into an Equip card, but I'd rather not do that. Thinking I probably should have just for the one turn OTK because I probably would have had to put uh whatever. He has to face this mammoth of a monster with seven thousand, six thousand points. And uh, I had big bang shot for if he puts in defense mode. Okay, he summoned attack mode. Placed him. So he's gonna special summon a gem knight from his deck. What is that's not gonna do anything unless he's trying to combo piece it with something else. That's not gonna. That's not going to do anything. Okay, he ends turn. I think it's safe to uh, go and use power tools effect. I think I got this game one. Guess it really doesn't matter what I pick at this point. And I think it might be safe to use Reckless as well. And I drew Windblast, so I guess I'll sit that face down. If this duel last past this turn. Alright, attack on game. 4900. One turn OTK, pretty much almost. Back at another duel. Drew the Genzo open in hand. Gonna go ahead and start off with duality. And I see Black Sour, so that's an instant Black Sour to my hand. Like I was saying the last duel, there's plenty of ways to get Black Salvo to my hand. Duality is just another way. Now what Windblast is going to do, normally if I had Windblast and I had a, uh, a Mechanical Chaser or a Locomotive, I would drop one of those cards to the graveyard and then bring out Black Salvo and then bring it back and whatever. But 
if I have to, I'll drop Jinzo, but I kind of don't want to drop Jinzo because he's setting all these cards face down. Which makes me want to actually summon Jinzo, which I am going to do after I get Locomotive's effect. So I'm going to draw a card, or maybe not, if he has something. Would he really negate this? Is this worth it? He does. Breakthrough skill. Really? Really? Really, bruh? Really? On that? Okay. Alright, you're gonna pay for it now, Jinzo. Now, all them back row cards, what they gonna do? Tack right on them. 2400. What's your back row gonna do now? See, the problem is he has. He has breakthrough in the graveyard, so I think that that will work against Jinzo because it's technically not on the field. So if he has any traps that he want to use, he can actually do that. So maybe it was smart that he played breakthrough skill because now it's in the graveyard. Now that's what he's going to do. So I'm assuming he's going to... Special Summon 2 gear. Okay. So he's gonna probably XYZ unless the gear unless these gear monsters actually have a synchro monster in there. A tuner. The good thing is because he break through Jinzo, now I can use Wind Blast on whatever he XYZs. And I'm going to wait till he finishes his move. Oh, so he got a gear. Gear giant. Alright, let's wind blast that. Pitch reckless. So that was, it looks like to be a good move. What? So he torrental. I guess he doesn't want Jinzo in the field no more. I'm assuming that's what it was. That had to be what it was. Might as well use it while Jinzo is on the field and his effect is negated. Top space. Ooh, I got Vanity's emptiness too, and that actually would have stopped my my move too. That was that was a good top deck space. So yeah, if he didn't Torrential Jinzo, then I probably would have been able to do... I mean, I'm still doing what I'm able to do because I top deck space, but... His, if his plan had worked out, I would have actually not been able to do this right here. So Torrential and Jinzo, why he could have, was a smart move. So, drew into Mage Power. Guess I'll just attack for uh, 3300. This is going to be dicey because I don't have anything in my hand, so we're just going to play it close to the best and hope that uh, that he doesn't have anything because I have nothing in my hand. If I top deck a salvo, then I'll, I'll be back in business again, but that's asking for too much. He space mage power, so has he got something strong enough to kill power tool? He does not. Cool. And I got the Regeki, so that's perfect. Well, let's go ahead and pop duality. So that could be anything. I don't know what they were normally running the Gear 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 deck, but whatever. So pop duality. Unite, we stand. I hope I got another United with Stan. Not that it really doesn't matter. Because I got the, uh, the Regeki. I'll just go ahead and quit one. And he said good game. Just type good game. Alright, so real quick. Here's the deck that I run for the uh, Power Tool. Three mechanical chasers. Leading the Dark Machine Monster. The Genzo, as you saw in that last duel, came up clutch. 
stopping traps. Uh, it's just an amazing card. Gen X Neutron is another way to search for Black Salvo at the end of the, at the end phase of when it's summoned. Uh, locomotive for the draw power, and he's a dark machine. Level four, which is cru crucial to uh, power tool. Uh, Ten goldfish to summon any one of my level four machines, and summon for uh, Gear Giant to search out Black Salvo. Uh, Black Salvo, of course. Genzo Jacket to search Genzo. Regeki Soul Charge, Soul Charge to bring back all my Black Salvos and Synchro for Power Tools or Power Tool Mecha. Duality to another way to search out Salvo. Space Limit to Remove for the OTK. Then you got the uh, Equip cards that I use. United We Stand, Power Tools, C and D, Big Bang Shot. I don't know why Back to Square One is in this deck. I need to take that out. And that needs to be Foolish Burial. But uh, Extra Deck Power Tool. Power Tool Mecha, Gear Giant X to search out Power Tool, Emerald for recyclability, and you see the rest. Dark Strike Planet Black Rose, just in case I need to go for game. Boy Retro, peace.